hi everyone welcome back to my channel today i will share with you all how i prepared this very simple but delicious potato porridge so for you to get a detailed recipe make sure you stay tuned and watch the video to the end i have here my potato they started germinating already because they have been in the house for quite a while and i just thought of using them if not they are going to get spoiled i have here my fresh tomatoes i have scotch bonnet peppers garlic ginger some uh, crayfish and here i have my already peeled potato in this bowl and i have my dried fish this dried fish for me is so so special it's very very important compared to any other meat of any kind i prefer this dried fish to any meat so there we go i'll start by sauteing my onion I'll saute my onion i'll let it be on the fire for a couple of minutes then i'll bring in my blended fresh tomatoes and let it be on the fire for a couple of minutes let it be till it's perfectly cooked then i'll bring my blended garlic ginger and pepper and mix everything now i'll bring my dried fish we call this in cameroon bonga this is very tasty i love any meal that has this in like this is so special to me and for my seasoning i'm going to be using maggie crevettes And some salt you can actually add any other extra seasonings I just don't want it too spicy so I have here my maggot cravet and salt I'll mix everything properly then I'll bring in my peeled and washed potato there we go so as you can see I'm not going to add any water at all into this pot potato normally produces a lot of water when it's cooking so if you add water it's going to be so so watery and uh the first thing is we want the potatoes to taste good and we want the the taste to get right into the potato so if you put water a lot of water is not going to taste really well the taste will not penetrate into the potato well so i've added my crayfish and that is it about all the seasonings all the ingredients that i have to put in here I will now cover my pot and let this cook for the next 30 minutes on low heat. There we go. This has been on the fire for 30 minutes on very low heat. Since we didn't add water, make sure your heat is very, very low. If it's high, it's just going to get burned. So this is the stage at which our potatoes are. And it's cooking nicely. It's almost cooked, but it's still not perfectly cooked yet. I'm going to go now and add in my vegetables. I'm using spinach. You can use any vegetable of your choice. I'm using spinach for today's recipe. I'll add my spinach and let this cook again for further 5 to 10 minutes. And then that is going to be it. So this is it. Our potatoes are perfectly cooked and everything is... So this is it. This is well cooked. And that is everything about this potato porridge recipe so you could see how easy it was to get to this point quite straightforward and believe me when i say it tastes so good you see the crayfish and the dried fish the bonga that i added in there that is everything you don't even need the beef you don't need anything else to add in here just that alone makes it taste so so good hope you enjoyed watching this recipe if you did enjoy then why not click on the subscribe button to join my community i would sincerely appreciate thank you and